with, um, hush. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time it is you're watching this, it's Coffee Thoughts. Every single day. Good morning. Listen, you hear that? That is the sound of no one is in the house but me. I don't know how to deal. Like the kids have gone back to school. They went back to school on Wednesday and um, Paul is at work this morning because sometimes he works in the mornings. And um, we legit woke up, all of us woke, woke up late this morning. First day of school, I was like really worried that the kids were not going to make it, you know, because bless their hearts, they stayed up all night the entire summer and um, they did not get out of bed. And like Allie didn't get out of bed until two, maybe twice the whole summer. No matter how many times I threatened to beat her, hit her with a pillow, something, two o'clock most days of the summer, maybe twice did she get up early. And that's because we were leaving for somewhere like the beach or the lake or, or something. So, like, I was really worried about her on the first day of school, but she made it. Like, she was up, had her makeup on, wings were divine. Um, and then, um, so we're on, like, day three. Overslept. Overslept completely. The girls' bus <clears throat> runs at, like, 6, 6.45 in the morning, and we rolled out of bed at 6.40. But they made the bus. Allie was in her room putting her makeup on and um, with no cares in the world that Emily wasn't awake and or that I wasn't awake. She just thought we forgot about her and she went on about her day. And then, um, but everyone made the bus this morning and I am alone in this house. Okay, so <clears throat> last coffee thoughts. I was talking about how stressed out I was. Not enough hours in the day to live, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Tuesday, Tuesday of this week. Um, it happened. It finally happened. I lost it. Like, lost it. I mean, by the title of my last Coffee Thoughts, like, how many times am I going to have to say it before someone hears me? They finally heard me on Tuesday. Because Tuesday is the day that I completely went crazy. Picture it. Sicily, 1908. There I was driving down the road. Okay. I had worked the night before. I had had one hour of sleep. I had to get back up because I had to finish, um, school shopping for the kids. Um, I was driving down the road and I was talking about like something simple. I can't remember what I was talking about. And then like one of my kids said something smart aleck to me and I just started bawling, like bawling, like emotional wreck mama like bawling, going down the road, just crying my eyes out. Crying my eyes out so bad that um, the kids felt bad and apologized. That's how bad I lost it. So and we were going to Walmart to get school supplies because I forgot to get the paper, the pencils, the, the, the all the extras. Um, I got clothes. The Friday before that, I got all the clothes and um, I forgot to get pencils and paper and things like that. And then Tuesday night was open house to where, you know, you go and you, you meet the teachers and, and say hi and everyone's like, well, I had to go to open house crazy and it's very loud and very like lots of people in the hallways. Emily was getting a new locker. So, you know, she's never had lockers before. So I had to stand there and bully her, you know, so she would learn how to open up her locker. So like I stood there and then she's, you know, trying to do the combination. She'd get it open and I just slam it shut again. I did that to Allie. Um, but as mean as that sounds, Emily is the only one of her friends that knows how to work a locker now because I did it to her about 20 times. After I had my good cry on Tuesday, I started feeling better, um, amazing enough. I mean, it was weird. I mean, I just like had this really good cry. Have you ever done that? Like just have a really good cry and then decide, okay, I'm, I'm fine now. And I can think now. Um, and then it just all became clear to me that I don't need to be the only one in this house that has responsibilities. Amazing. Think about that. I mean, like I do all the stuff. I do all the things in this house. So I had family discussion about how I need help. And, um, and, and unless they want to see me go crazy again, they're going to give me some help so far. So good. Knock on wood. Um, that, uh, that keeps going. Um, and also I had to have a talk with my kids about how bad they make fun of me because my girls love to make fun of me. I mean, they live for it. So I told them they can't make fun of me until like, 
I'm emotionally better. And I don't project that to be until like the year 2045. I'm not emotionally good. I am taking my meds. So there's my weekly update on how, me taking my meds. Today, I am going to take care of these roots. And I've been saying that for two days now. So what, what bets do you want to place that I get this done today? There's no one in the house. So like after I do this, edit it and post it, I'm probably going to be like, while you're watching it, I am bleaching my hair. Yep. And if you see an Instagram photo um, later of me with bleached blonde hair, then you'll know that I was telling the truth just now and it's fine. If you have not got on Facebook and joined Bougie on a Budget, you should because I've been going live like every night, just about. Um, I Now that I am, the kids are back in school and we've got things going on and I'm the cheerleading coach, um, I uh, don't have time to, I was pumping out videos like every day. And so like I'm going back to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every now and then Saturday schedule. Um, I'm going to try to vlog this week so that, you know, I love vlogging. I like walking around talking to a camera um, while we're having life. Um, but, um, I'm going to try to vlog this week and put that out on Saturday. But, you know, like I did feel a sense of like relief when I went back to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I loved putting out videos every day though. Main reason I love YouTube comments. I do. I love YouTube comments. Um, except for when someone I know gets on YouTube and, um, trolls me and gets me really good. Thanks, Rob. Thanks. He got me. He got me really good. He got on my fired video and I posted this on Facebook and I just took it down because like I was trolled by a friend and um, I thought that it was really weird. There, the comments were like very degrading and um, they were on the fired video and it was like, you know, five different, five kids, five kids by five different men and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, first off, I was married for 14 years with the same guy. Three of the children are by the same guy. Um, so write that down. And um, then um, two of them are stepsons that aren't, didn't even come out of my hoo-ha. Um, you know, so you can, you can just take note to that. Um, and he had me riled up for a hot minute. And then he started saying things that I knew this cannot be a troll. That the, I have to know the troll. Because if, if for some reason, you know... This person was real they would have had to watch a lot of videos to gather up this much information and then i realized that it was somebody i knew friends are a-holes i'm telling you but anyway um i'm you know minus the emotional break that i had on tuesday i'm doing much better um, i have been going live like every day just about and i really thoroughly enjoy that i feel like i can connect with people a little bit better yeah i'm still selling wine life and um in my lives but i use all kinds of different products I got my new Jeffree Star palette, and if you have been watching me live, you can see me, like, you, I, I've used it already, but there is going to be a more in-depth, brutally honest review on the new Jeffree Star Morphe palette coming out soon, um, because I'm going to record it today. Um, spoiler alert, it's not bad. Shocker, I know, I fangirl Jeffree Star products like crazy. But, okay, so I've been doing the Lime Life since the beginning of this month, and I've been, you know, doing that. Right now, I am top five in sales in my group, and um, because I'm working hard, but like I like really like it. Like the products are really good. I'm not selling me right now. The products are really good, but like I am a nurse, okay, and I like to help people. It's a thing. Nurses love to help people. We may not admit it all the time, but like that's why we are a nurse. We're the helpers, okay. So like when I help somebody get clear skin, like it just brings me joy, like joy, like you would not understand. So like when I help somebody with a makeup look, that's why I do a lot of tutorials and things like that. Because when I help people with makeup and they are able to do better makeup, it brings me joy. It stress, it's like a stress reliever. Like the more I help, the better I feel. Does that make sense? I'm just one of those people. Like the more I help, the better I feel. So, um, you know, like if you're on Facebook and you, you know, and you're in that group and you see me post a bunch, then that means that, you know, I really want to help somebody or I really want to, you know, contact or be in contact with people. I love talking to people. I love answering comments. I love answering messages. It's just the thing I do. I'm a very social person. So says my third grade teacher who wrote home that I don't shut up. So there's that. So how has your life been? How are you doing? Third cup of coffee. So therefore I'm rolling. I've been drinking like three cups of coffee a day, people. It's bad. Like, 
three full size cups because like I make coffee and then I pour it into this cup. It keeps it warm. And then um, I um, I just keep filling it back up. Um, I <laughs> probably should not drink three cups of coffee a day. I've been trying to do this thing where I exercise every day and I'm increasing slowly um, so that I don't burn myself out. So like I started with like 20 or 15 minutes of being on the elliptical and like 20 crunches. And then now I'm up to like 30 minutes on the elliptical and um, 40 crunches. So like I'm trying, I'm trying, but sometimes that also was part of my emotional breakdown on Tuesday. Sometimes I look at myself in the camera and I'm like, is that you or are you going to play off like the camera's adding 20 pounds? I don't know. I don't know. Like, like my live last night was hideous. I couldn't stop looking at myself saying, you huge, you huge. And um, I, I'm still trying to work on that. Like, it's so hard to just love yourself, you know? Like, I mean, sometimes when I look in the mirror, it's like I'm on fire. I'm loving the way I look. Like, I've had a few of those days this week where I'm just like, I am on fire. And then, like... And I take really excellent selfies that make me look skinny because I'm a pro at that. But I am not. And I, I have to, I'm trying to love myself and accept myself for who I am. Um, but uh, it's hard. It's hard. That's also part of my breakdown the other day was because just nothing fits. But you know, it does fit sweatshirts and sweatpants. And I got up this morning and it was flipping cold. So I put those on. So now I'm, I'm fat and happy in my sweats, you know, because it's sweatshirt season. Not yet. I mean, like, it's going to warm up today and I'll have to take this thing off and put a t-shirt on. But I'm just saying for right now, I'm comfy in sweats. Drinking coffee. Talking to my family. I hope you guys have had an excellent week. I hope no one had a breakdown like I did. And um, let me know in the comments how you're doing. So like this video if you haven't liked it. And uh, subscribe because... I'm at like 530 something right now and I couldn't be any happier about that. And um, that's about all I got for you today. That coffee is kicking my butt now. So um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Every single day.